Right, so just trying to get these stripped uh, Torx head bolts, or whatever you call them, uh, off this derby cover. And I've just hidden uh, a screw bit like this. Um, and just using an impact screwdriver. And uh, yeah, just give it a good whack. Probably won't work, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Also, gonna heat up my soldering iron. <laughs> Apparently, you can uh, apply some heat with the uh, soldering iron. Let's see how this goes. Hope for the best. Got a few of them actually. They're so tight. that felt like it could have worked that ain't working um let's try some heat I'll just wait for my solder and to heat up Okay, so I'll try the same thing again. I'm just going to try put the soldering iron on the bolt for about I don't know, a minute, 30 seconds. If worst comes to worst, apparently you can just drill these heads off in it. It's easy enough to get them out after that. Apparently, they're normally just finger tight once you take this case off. but. We'll have to see about that. They don't feel hot at all. <laughs> I think it's looking like we might have to drill them out, unfortunately. So I was striking this uh, bolt. Because I drilled it so much, I thought I was just trying to break the head off. But I actually managed to uh, get that whole bolt loose to come out, so pretty happy about that. From getting that off, drilling it out, taking forever. Don't really like the chisel method, but. Um, Yeah, it seemed to work, but I uh, don't really like it. It's so easy to scratch the, the case. I'm going to try and put it on here, maybe. See if I scratched it. Um, Pretty cool though. Pretty happy about that. That makes just two more. Got to get out. Um, don't know how far you have to drill. I might just uh, 
I might need to get a better drill bit. These don't seem to, they seem to take too long. And uh, yeah, can't believe I got that to come loose though. I might try this other one with it. Alright, so uh, like I said, I got this one out here with a chisel. I've actually got replacement bolts and I put, it, put that in there. I put some copper anti-seize grease on the threads too, just to prevent it um, from happening again. But yeah, now I'm just drilling these two out. It's taking forever. Um, got some titanium drill bits, but it's still taking forever. So I might try some cobalt drill bits. Apparently they're the best. I don't know if, what these bolts are made of, if they're steel or stainless steel. Probably not stainless steel, eh? Um, but they're taking forever, so... Um, yeah, but the key is what I'm doing is I'm just dipping the drill bit in oil. And I'm using my cordless drill because it goes a bit slower. And that uh, apparently you have to go slower with steel. Otherwise the drill bits get too hot and they start to go dull. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, hopefully get some better drill bits. Should make the job a bit easier. Don't know whether to carry on with this or just get some better ones. But I'm almost there with this one, to be honest. Um, shouldn't be far away at all. You just have to use like the same size bolt uh, drill bit as the bolt itself. So it's a quarter inch, so about a quarter inch. And this one's about seven mil. And uh, apparently, when you get this off, when you get them on, apparently when you get these out, you can just take the cover off, and they should just screw out by hand. If not, you can just put some pliers on the on the bolt. Uh, I did try a uh, easy out. I think my cord will. You put them in the drill. I don't know where I put them. Uh, but put them in the drill and put it in reverse and and go backwards and it kind of grips onto them and you know undoes them, unscrews them, but kind of grips onto them and unscrews. But yeah, didn't have any luck. So yeah. So just uh, picked up a new drill bit, cobalt, cobalt or something, and these are supposed to be the best for like harder steel, um, like hardened steel and stainless steel. So hopefully, it, hopefully it does the job a lot quicker. And uh, yeah, just gonna dip it in some oil and try drill not too fast. Yeah, and try and drill nice and slow. using some old motor oil and I uh, might have to move the camera to a better spot this one here this top one um, it's pretty much done already but let's have a go see how this goes Looks like it's working a lot, yeah that's working a lot better. You can see the, the middle's coming off a lot more. It's a big difference. Look at all the shavings. The only thing is, this drill bit may not be large enough, but it should be. Just little. Try not to get the tip too hot as well. Um, 
using oil and uh, and just going as slow as you can. It's all I've learned. One more bit. To get this one loose, just by hitting it, even though I haven't drilled right through yet. See? Happy days. So that's two down, one to go. Wonder how far away I was from uh, getting this off. And I put that in the vise and just see. Just try and drill it and see how far away I was. Happy days. Happy days. Uh, got some replacement screws. Is that the one? I've lost one. They're not actually the right size. But uh copper grease. The chisel seems to work better when when the um, head's like you know down a bit, pretty much off. You can pretty much get a chisel in and knock it loose. Um, there's the bolt that I just took out, but uh. I have lost one bolt. These ones are a bit longer. So I'm gonna have to get a um, get the right ones. I rushed it, you know, like you do. But I have been just putting a washer in. And what I'm doing also with these these new ones I'm putting in, I'm putting some copper grease, anti seize grease on the threads. So, where is it here? This is the stuff here. Yeah, on the threads. And then, where did I put that washer? Where did I put that down here? Yeah, I'm going to have to order the right size bolts, the Torx, Torx ones as well, which I'm not that keen on, but I guess with the NTCs and stuff, probably be alright. The reason I'm doing all this is because of my clutch. I've got grease all over my hands, my clutch is, uh, seems like it needs adjusting. 